Welcome back everybody, some more everybody's golf on PlayStation 4, playing out in the Forest today, regular T's normal cups, all 18, and we're going to play in um, Lone Elite mode, so we're going to have club skill high, so kind of our second one in our little mini series, we're going to play all the courses over 18 holes with club skill high, see what sort of scores we can set. <clears throat> I want to hit the power a little bit there. But this is going to be a truer test than the custom clubs. Because it's a setup you can go and recreate yourself. Other than the wind, obviously, which I think is just standard wind, isn't it? So, 38 to go. It's going to roll a little bit to the right. But not much. Just gone right a bit. Should be close though. Plenty of room for the birdie pup. In she goes. My best score is 16 on here with two albatrosses. Um, 16 under, but that must have been with custom clubs. So, what can we do with um, high club skill? That's the question. Oh, look at that, a beauty. When it works, the whole no-spin thing lets you get really close. Two under. So three. This is the first one the altitude really starts messing with you. Sadly, you can't hit the hot air balloons. I think they're in the sky one. So, 145 to go. Got to just bend it round this tree. Which will make things a little bit more interesting. I might just put a bit more club on it. Oh, good shot. I was thinking the wind was going to turn that over a bit more because I hung it up there. Pace was good though, it was about pin high. Can we um, drop it in the hole? Ah oh, no, we didn't miss hit it. Oh, still made it though, just got the eagle. Only just, mind you. So there you go, four under. Yeah, it's the third easiest hole on the course, isn't it? It's a powerful. Right. Oh. No, that's just silly. That shot, on the other hand, well, I was going to land this up. That might be a playable shot. Oh, it's gone a bit left. Hopefully the wind will hold it up. I don't want to land in that particularly. Anything off the that? There you go. Onto the fair. Always pays to be a little bit aggressive on these. Just get that a little bit closer. So 60 to go. Hogni Charles. Oh, that's another beauty. This is a nice birdie pup. It certainly is. So five's got that little track that shouldn't interfere with us particularly. You never know though. It depends how far we roll up, I suppose. <laughs> Yeah, going to be bam, but it's not going to get anywhere close to that. So it's at 300, 110 left. Again, nice open green you can get at. What's it going to do when it lands? It's going to go a little bit left, so we need to allow a little bit for the wind. Only 
good shot. Ooh. That's another good one. Go for the birdie. Another birdie. Did you It's a six under. Six. It's a par four. Six is the par four. Yeah, my worry is which that you'll roll right when you land. I've sort of played to here before and had a slightly longer second shot. But we'll have a go at it. Master Hall. So it should go a little bit right. Yeah, I think we're okay, aren't we? So we hit it the advertised 280. 145 to go. Plenty of room so we can just play it up there. No need for anything silly. Just a nice straight shot at the pin. Not bad, five foot. As I said, if you leave yourself anything under six foot, you should always be pretty keen to pretty hopeful you'll get it. It's a seven under. Par three next. This is usually a little tricky one actually. It's guarded by a little bunker and it kind of wants to roll on your left when you land it. I usually find this one's a little trickier. You've got to just clear the front. There you go. Yeah, we did alright. That's pretty good. Still a tricky pot though. There you go. So eight under. Eight. Eight a nightmare. So anything right's wet. Anything right and short is wet. Now, can we get it up there is the question. Only way to find out is to thump it. We got the ultra, so if it pitches on, it'll grip. Which is sometimes the worry. That's just going to come back a bit, I think. But not much. All right, we get a chip at it. Oh, not quite close enough. Just going to have to take the birdie. Nine under, and the par five to finish. And as I remember, this is a really long one. I think I got my record drive here with custom clubs. It was downwind, and I absolutely thumped it. That's okay. It's a 226 to go, so it's still a big old shot. Five iron in at the pin. Yeah, good nice shot. shot. Yep. Oh, yes. Fringe might just kill it a little bit, hopefully. Oh, yeah, that's not it's not far away. Oh, well, oh. Don't let the eagle slip. We'll get a putt for the eagle. You've got to love an eagle putt. Get in there. Great finish. So 11 under. That's a heck of a heck of a card, isn't it? Only two off our theoretical maximum. Out in 25. So what can we do on the way back? Those albatrosses are off the cards. We just don't have the length. But there should be some eagles we can pick up. But again, there's a few difficult holes like this one where the altitude sort of gets you. I can side to try and keep it over the fairway as much as I can. I didn't really want it running into there, but okay, we're in the rough. I think it's the first time I've been in the rough. So that's going to make this a little trickier. 
going to make the putt difficult because we might not be able to get as close as we'd like. I say that. If we can get within four foot, I'm happy. So that's the first sort of real mistake we've made. 12 under. 11's the par 3. Again, it's all about where the pin is. It's a little bit close to the front, so I might just have to play a little bit of backspin here. Just to kind of bring it forward. I don't want to end up in the front of that bunker. That's okay, isn't it? It's a beauty. Nice easy birdie for 13. 12, the albatross hole. We're not going to be going for that today. Can't really cut anything off, although we can try this shot. I need a bit of a bounce. Thank you. Yeah, just not quite to the bunker, it's alright. So 2.12 to go. Do we go for the green? No, I don't see why we don't. It's a long old way downhill as well. We've got the ultra backspin. Which we might need. Looks like it's going to be pin high. Ooh. Yeah, and then we want it to come back. Three irons. So it won't rip back that far. So, eagle pup. It's a tricky one, though. Sloping downhill. Waking to the left. It's somewhere like that. Just going to let it roll. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Great shot. 15 under. So 13, the last of the par threes. And this one, you've normally got to pitch it here. There's a little bit of rough in front of it. Caused you a little bit of trouble. So we're going to go backspin again. And it's slightly uphill. A little bit more on it. So we're a bit wide. So this is probably the longest... One of the longer putts we've had. Sloping downhill. We made it. 16 under. Pretty much perfect putting other than the chip in. We've one putted everything. So 14 now. You can sort of make this. It's all about where you put this on the green. Sorry, put this on the fairway. It's a bit left. This might need a bit of a bounce. It might be in a bit of trouble because it might end up in the water. Is that oh, just got on the green. That's good. So we've got a monster putt though for the eagle. Sloping downhill. Breaking to the right. If we hold this, if we hold this. What is going on? What is going on? That's ridiculous. Rating 43 per eagle putts. It's a It's a 15. Can you make it over the water? Yeah, probably make it um, over those bunkers. Try and get the big bounce. Go oh, on, there you go. That's what you want. So we hit it nearly 300. We've got 70 left. What's it going to do? Oh, it's going to kind of go right. I'll probably slightly overhit it. Yeah, it just went a little past. It's alright though. The fine part though. Ah, oh, finally Mr. Pop. Finally Mr. Pop. Had to happen eventually. I nearly said earlier on we'd been perfect so far. That's what happens. Ah, 
Might end up being the only par on the scorecard. It's a path. This is 16. The question is, how brave do you feel? You could try and skip it to that. There you go. That'll do. <laughs> the crowd really like that for some reason. And again, can we get it close? Oh, nearly in the hole. Nineteen under. It's a par four. Ooh, par five left. Over the cabin. This one sometimes causes me a bit of angst. Sort of finding the the right line. Sometimes you can just go right and end up in those bunkers. No, it looks like we'll just end up just short. But. Oh, nearly. That's no for a Get the birdie for 20. And we get a shot of 21 on the 18th. <laughs> nice birdie. Last one. It's at 18. It's a on, then. Little bit left, but should be okay. Might end up in a bit of rough, maybe. Yeah. So that's our second one in the rough. So we've got to hit a big shot out of the rough now. Might as well use the power shot as we've got it. Just try and get it up. Oh, it's gone all the way right. I don't think it's going to matter too much. Yeah, it's okay. A little bit worried to do a little water on the right. So we're back on the fairway. Again, can we get it close? Give ourselves a chance. Good, good. Oh, I've done a drop for the eagle. So I'd actually say we only missed one shot. We missed that two pup. But other than that, you know, I could have had a few more eagles drop, but 21 under thrashed my best score. One one par on there. That's not a bad round of golf. The stats should be good. I think I only missed two fairways. Yeah, look at that. Every green missed two fairways. Can't argue with that. That's good golf. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. Please leave me a comment. And I'll see you next time for a bit more Everybody's Golf.